Kyoto is famous for its countless temples and shrines and is also known to house the world-renowned Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. But don't go there. Instead, we're going to show you around the town of Arashiyama, chase the cherry blossoms, and of course, eat lots of food. Alright, we're now making our way to Kyoto Station. It's about a 10 minute walk from where we're staying at La Casa. Ideally, you want to be like, when you walk out, the station's right there. <laughs> yeah, so we got to catch a train to get to our first spot for the day. We now made it inside Kyoto Station and we're trying to make our way to Sun In Line. This floor is so busy right now. Yeah, it's packed, you guys. Oh my goodness. That's what you're going to expect, whether it's a weekday or weekend. Yeah. It is busy here in Kyoto Station. So pro tip you guys, you can get IC cards like these ones and it helps you go through the gates right here behind us. So you don't have to keep buying those single tickets. Yeah, you just have to go quick tap on the, uh, yeah, machines. the machines and you're off. So we've now made it to platform 33 in uh, on the Sun In Line. This is where we're gonna catch our train to go to our first stop. Oh, you can rent bikes here. That would be cool. And like, okay, so we're actually at Saga Arashima Station because we are on our way to the bamboo forest. But we're not actually there for the bamboo forest. We are going on a train ride. But we quickly find out that it was sold out for the day. We were supposed to pre-book tickets online or via kiosk, so now we're gonna make our way to the town of Arashiyama. We're just in a bit of a dilemma, <laughs> a, a crisis while traveling. We don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool to be back on familiar streets in Kyoto. We're on the way to the bamboo forest, but actually we're gonna try somewhere to eat because it's 12 o'clock and we haven't had any food at all. One of the main streets before getting to the bamboo forest is very busy, very popular because there's a lot of restaurants, um, I think there's even cafes. Yeah, a lot and of like cafes, tea houses. Tea houses, dessert places, so we're gonna try and fill our tummies up first. Ah, this is so cool, you guys. We are back in the main street just before the bamboo forest, so this is where we ate at a while ago. Look how packed it is with so many people. <laughs> um, we're trying to find somewhere to eat. So far, a lot of like, cafes and dessert like chocolate places soccer season is truly truly beautiful but wow <laughs> it is so busy i yeah. mean we are here for like tourists it's just because we experienced last year and there's literally no one here yeah when they just opened it wasn't as yeah. busy but now oh my gosh literally like oh. every food places is packed i think this is a good spot for like food and stuff see yeah this area here oh dang you guys it is busy but the sakura is just stunning it's Beautiful, yeah, guys. and it's a sunny weather as well, so it is in full bloom here in Kyoto. It's kind of overwhelming. I thought, I thought Japan was busy when we were here in October last year, but they just this opened. Is something else. Yeah, this was next level. Look, there, across the street, everywhere, you guys. We're just at this little stall, and there's no line on this one. But I saw some daifuku, and so I just want to grab a bite. It's 250 yen for one, so that's pretty good. I don't think Alex can survive uh, five minutes okay. more. Okay, <laughs> I'm starving. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I think there's like black bean inside, but wow, it looks so good. The strawberry here in Japan is so sweet. And so fresh. Mm, it's so good. You want? Yeah, let me try. Mm. <laughs> Yum. That's so tasty. I want to try all their street food here in Kyoto. Like, there's so much. But I need an, a proper food for now. Yeah, we need a proper meal to energize ourselves.
are good in here. Yeah, I know. You can smell curry. The menu is pretty good. And you know what? They're actually like one of the most affordable finds yeah, here. that's right. In restaurants. So their meals are like 900 yen. That's including tax already. Yeah. And 900 and 800. Oh my gosh, that's like so pretty even good. as low as 700. Yeah, yeah actually. Cool. Yeah, the okay. noodles are yeah. 700. Wow, this is a good find. We don't want to be spending like thirty dollars per meal here because yeah. the restaurants here are a bit expensive. Oh my gosh, that is a meal! And for only nine hundred yen, I got the pork yes. cutlery set. Yes. I got the pork cutlery. I got the pork cutlet set. Oh, that smells so good. That plate is actually massive, <laughs> so what but I'm gonna get? finish it. Um, curry, katsu curry. So I got katsu curry. For 800 yen. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. So is this uh, another food vlog? <laughs> it's just a food vlog at this point. This is a big meal for 9 yeah. bucks or for 900 yen. Yeah. Yummy. Oh. Oh. I'm still struggling a little bit with chopsticks, so cut me some slack. I'm trying. I'm trying for y'all. For all our Japanese subscribers. For 900 oh. yen, this hot meal is so good. I mean, it's so simple, but just add mayo to this pork cutlet. It's so good. A few moments later. So we just finished with lunch and it was so, so good. Now we've made our way to the bridge. And I think it's a popular spot because there's literally actually a lot of people so just many. sitting down here watching the stream. I mean, I can't blame them because, oh my goodness, the view here is incredible. Yeah, I mean, there's so many people even walking on the bridge. Yeah. And then, yeah, like what Alex said, around the bridge, a lot of people taking photos, which we're gonna do as well. I think we'll do that. Yeah. Honestly, such a relaxing time, kind of just sitting by the river and I don't know, like people watching? Yeah, yeah. people just watching the stream pretty much. Mm. So here are the photos that we took there. Let's put it right here. It's honestly so beautiful. We might go back and cross the ridge after we get some more food. Food time! <laughs> she keeps nagging me about it. Okay, so we got to this matcha store. I don't know the name because I can't translate it for some reason, but I want to get one of these with the ice cream and like brownies. Anyway, let's line up. Oh, it's like these. So it is literally matcha heaven here. They've got ice cream, they've got cakes. Oh my gosh, we're ordering one right now. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what we got. So we're gonna do a taste test. So this one is half and half. It's called Kyo Bom. I think Kyoto Bom. Bom might be the... I'm not sure, but might be the bread. <laughs> Never know. Because it's the bomb. But we're gonna try the ice cream. Oh. Is this soy or no? Not this one. Mm. The milk is soy. Mm. And then just like the matcha ice cream. Oh. It's very matcha like because it's not that sweet. <laughs> Oh, Every, that, that's nice. It's nice, right? Yeah. It's not too sweet. Which I like. I'll try this. I don't know what yeah. this is. Ah. Ah. I want some. Oh no. That's so crunchy. A lot of people are selling these matcha ice creams everywhere here. But I wanted to get a little bit of that cake, so that's why we went into this store. It's uh, 580 yen. 580 yen for this whole thing. But if you want just the ice cream, it's cheaper and also you can also get just the cake as well. Okay. Very much I like or... It's actually like a sponge cake. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. That's what I thought. It's really good. It's literally like a sponge cake. Right? Mm. I thought like it would be like hotter or something. It's good because it's sweet. Let I me... need something sweet. <laughs> Here the bite please. 
mm. dessert. So after the lunch, it's literally next to it, which is so funny. Mm. We didn't even realize. So you can have the dessert here. We pretty much just spent most of our day here in Arashiyama. Yeah, I mean, we had a plan, I swear. I swear. We weren't really sure what we were going to do today. But I guess this is a vibe. You just stay in one place so we don't keep moving around. There's actually just so many like little nooks and crannies mm -hmm. in Arashiyama where you can you know, have food. So it's not just that main road, but you can turn off to this area. And there's even more food here. I mean, there's a lot of tourists though. So you, some places you still have to line up. Yeah. You still have to wait for it. You just got to try and find some yeah. hidden gems in That's the area. Right. We're in another stall. But we're in this area where we walk through this alleyway and now we're on to finding some crepes and we're here. More dessert. <laughs> More dessert. So I just ordered the Kyoto crepe. I think that's their like recommended and it's 750 yen. So we just got the crepe and it looks like there's much inside. What sauce is this? They're like black bean sauce. But there's no. strawberry cream like a mochi, black bean, and mango. Mm, that cream is so good. Oh, is that the uh, mochi? Mm. Ooh. It's My really time. good. It's like strawberry, and strawberries in Japan are so, so sweet. Like, I love their strawberries here. And this one is so good. One of the things that makes sense in Japan. One of the many things. One of the many things. Look, they made like, like you can cut, cut, through, out cut through this. Yeah, I was actually trying to figure out before, like, where do we That's tear so through? Cool. There you go, easy to eat. Oh. Right, my turn to bite one more time. The cream mm. is so good. 20 minutes later. Wow, look at the mountains. We're now on the bridge, you guys. As you can see, we're on the bridge. We have this beautiful view of a mountain. Yes, look! And it's just crazy to see this in person. Like, it's stunning. Even with the lighting kind of going down now, yeah. like the sun. Oh, still so breathtaking. So we're going to show you what it looks like from the other side of the bridge. We're just literally like walking around and there's these stunning, stunning sakuras. Look at this one is white. And then that one is pink. Walking through the sakuras. Oh, so stunning here, you guys. This is awesome. This is literally why we booked this trip because of the sakura. And even though we had rain for like, since we arrived in Osaka, pretty much yeah. cloudy and rainy days, happy to have a sunny, great weather day here in Kyoto. And yeah. we're just truly, honestly, just happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I think Japan is really becoming one of our favorite countries. Somewhere where we feel comfortable, almost like at home, and we're honestly so. Uh, so grateful for our Japanese subscribers who commented who on our first upload. Us. I know they were like, "Welcome home, welcome oh. back to Japan." I'm like, "Can you please Let's... adopt us?" <laughs> yeah, right, we're trying to figure out how to live in Japan. Help us out. <laughs> Alex brought her little Canon Digicam. Look at that. Shout out to Canon. <laughs> it actually produces some really nice photos once you kind of process them through yeah. Lightroom. And you know, Digicams are actually a vibe these days. A lot of people are shooting with their vintage cameras. And I think we want to look out for some vintage cameras here in Japan as well. Maybe we'll go yeah. somewhere in Tokyo. Do you have a discount link for that? <laughs> no discount link. This is just from your house. <laughs> yeah. When did you get this? Like 2000? Probably... 2001? No, not that one. Probably 2012 or something. 2010 or something. Uh, yeah, something yeah. like that. So not too bad, right? And that is the spot we want to go to. So Alex and I were chilling on that side of the bridge, around that area. And we saw these uh, sakura cherry blossoms right across the river. I just can't be That's it for day two in Kyoto. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. With travel, not everything goes to plan, and we kinda, I'm kinda glad that we just stayed in Arashiyama. Like, we were planning to do the romantic yeah. train ride, and that was sold out. But this is pretty romantic just being here, mm, honestly. Yeah. We got to explore the town of Arashiyama. I didn't even know like this part existed. Exactly, so you can actually just come to Arashiyama 
if you don't want to move around too much and you're gonna see so much experience a lot and also eat a lot <laughs> so if you enjoyed today's vlog make sure you hit that like button and while you're at it click the subscribe button as well you can also click the post notification bell mm -hmm. so that when we upload next you will be notified because we have like another so two, two weeks two and a half weeks here in Japan so we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.